This is the getting started video for new resellers on next steps after signing up. So after we send you the welcome email with your username and password, that will allow you to log into the platform to access your account. You can log in from Avid Mobile's homepage. The login link um, in the top left corner will take you to our universal login where you put in the username and password that we set you up with. Now the universal login is different and separate than our back office to access all of our training material, which is where you're going to want to go um, first to get familiar with everything. So to access the back office, you will go to resellers.avidmobile.com and you will click register to create your own new account. From here, you will you'll choose your own username and password for the back office, fill out the rest of this information, and then in the authentication code box, you will put the code that we send you over in our welcome email. When all of this is filled out, you will click register and login. It will take you back to the home page where you'll put in that username and password you set up for yourself. When you log in, it will look similar to this. Up top you can see that we have um, a support ticket system where you can submit any troubleshooting or issues you have um, right in here. And then under knowledge base we have commonly asked questions and problems and the answers to those. So if you ever want to take a look there it might might help out and then under reseller content this is where you can find all of the training videos powerpoints and other documents so right off the bat it would be a good idea to take a look at the tutorial videos we have on our YouTube channel you can see when you click on that link it takes you um, inside where we have about 34 short tutorial videos uploaded on how to set up each campaign type, uh, how to build mobile websites, everything you'll need to know on how to work on the platform and all of our campaigns. The rest of the training videos in here are mostly webinars given by Rob um, covering sales webinars and different industry level specific webinars so when you have the time it's extremely beneficial to watch all of these um, they all have a lot of great information that you're probably wondering about so try and watch as many of these webinars as possible um, to get a good I idea of everything to um, the platform where you will um, create your campaigns and everything like that um, put in your username and password. Once you log in, you will be taken to a screen that looks similar to this. Of course, it will have your logo, your contact information, everything will be customized to your company. Um, but what we need to do is create a demo account for your first client so you can actually go in and um, set up a virtual business card just to get familiar, familiarized with everything in the platform. Under URL extension, this is where when we set up clients, we normally just put the company name. So for this demo account, you could put your company name in here. And when you start typing, you see that it will give you the full URL that, they, that your client can actually log in from if you want to use that. The logout redirect URL is if you want them to be redirected to a different website when they're logging out you can put in that URL right there. Customer readable name is once again the name of the company how they spell it out so when they log in and they see their dashboard it's all customized to them.
customer logo if you have um, their logo you can upload it so when they log in they see that powered by logo is going to be your company's logo powered by link is going to be your company's website under contact information this is where you're gonna fill out all of your clients contact info for the demo account you can leave it blank or you could put your own information in there under login this is where you set up your client with their own username and password biggest thing to remember here is whatever we make the admin username and you create this and they can always go back and change this but whatever we make the admin username we need to use the exact same username for universal so these two usernames always need to be the same then you can set their password put in their email address under basic GUI if you want to change any of the small features like colors fonts um, in the dashboard this is where you could do that under campaign limits this is where you set up your client with um, any of the campaigns that they are wanting to run by default it will always be these numbers but for instance say if they don't want to or probably won't use the text to screen feature then you could put zero in that box and they won't even see it as an option in their marketing center under extra features we have enable FTP static group upload this means that you can upload a contact list into the system if they already have built um, a list of mobile numbers we can upload that entire list from a spreadsheet into our platform um, you would just enable that enable contact manager view would be for um, clients using the appointment reminder module so for dentist offices for hair salons places that are going to send out appointment reminders via SMS you would want to enable the contact manager view enable mobile website builder will allow them to build mobile websites and enable list track integration for the most part you will not ever need to enable this unless your client uses list track um, to send out emails it's a smaller email marketing company unless they use that specific company to send out their emails and you don't even need to worry about that under the billing section this is where you set um, the billing for that client whatever they signed up with the package name for example tier one the base rate is the monthly payment that they are making to you so how much you're charging them per month for that package the outgoing message quota is how many messages we're giving them in that package so let's say they're getting a hundred messages for free but if they go over that then we're going to charge them an overage rate per message so you would put that right there incoming message quota most always will keep this at zero um, we don't charge you for incoming messages so you don't have to charge your clients only for um, resellers on the Canadian platform do they do we have to worry about incoming message, message messages so just keep that at zero and then for keyword quota although we give you unlimited keywords you can set a certain number in here for your clients and then if they go over that number you can charge them per keyword now all this information that you put right here in this section then determines their billing statement at the end of the month so the values you put in here will determine what that what is going to be used or what our platform uses to generate their in their billing statement each month under notes you can put customer specific notes if you need to remember anything about that client and when you're done filling out all these you will click create marketing center and operation successful we're just going to go back home and now you can see that that client is in my account under my list and now I can actually go and log in to start setting up campaigns. 
Campaign Manager view is where we build mobile websites, set up any campaigns. So I'm going to go there. And from the home page, you can see under campaigns, there's every single type tools. We have mobile website builder, all of our features in here. And those tutorial videos on our YouTube channel will show you how to specifically set up those campaign types if you have questions on that. Also, the help link in the top right hand corner will tell you, well, that will take you inside a help and resource center where it also, if you have any questions on what a campaign is or how I set it up, it will tell you exactly, step by step, how to set up that campaign. This has been the Getting Started video for new resellers. Thanks.